Today we are going to learn about the metric system, which is so much easier than our system of measurement. We have different units for different things. There's 128 ounces in a gallon, 5,280 feet in a mile, and 12 inches in a foot. Where do these numbers come from? Why do we use them? The metric system is simple. It's based off units of 10, and right now I'm going to go over the units. If we're talking about things that are large scale, we use terms like giga, mega, kilo, and deca. They all mean more than a base unit. First off, a base unit is either going to be liters to represent volume, grams to represent mass, or meters to represent length. So a giga is 10 to the ninth or a billion base units. A gigameter is a billion meters. Mega is a million. Kilo is a thousand. Deca is 10, like there's 10 years in a decade. Now, if we're talking about something smaller than one of the base units, so something smaller than a gram meter or a liter, we would use one of these. So if we're talking about decimeters, there are 10 of those in a meter. There's 100 centimeters in a meter. There's 1,000 milliliters in a meter. There's a million micrometers in a meter. And the smallest you need to know is nanometers, which there are a billion nanometers in a meter. Really small. Now, when converting within these units, um, what I recommend doing is treating it just like any other dimensional analysis problem using a conversion factor. And the first step I'm going to say is go to the base. Sometimes that's the only conversion you need to do. If, there's, if you're not going from one something to a base unit or from a base unit to something else, you're going to do the additional step of going to the base unit first. So, first example, convert 3.5 kilometers to meters. In any of these problems, what you do is you write down what you're given and then see what you can relate it to. And you can re directly relate kilometers and meters. There are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So I write that on the conversion factor. I put the units that I'm trying to cancel out on the bottom. So kilometers goes on the bottom and where I'm going on the top. So when I multiply this out, I get 3.5 times 10 to the third meters or 3,500 meters in 3.5 kilometers. If you have one that requires going from, that doesn't involve base units in the question, first step is to convert to the base units because you have those relationships handy and ready to go. So this one's asking you to convert 4.5 micrograms to megagrams. So what I first do is relate micrograms to grams. And as we can see over here, there are a million micrograms in a gram. So I set that up with the unit that I'm trying to cancel out on the bottom. It goes away. At this point, if I stopped, I would know how many grams I have, which I can then relate to megagrams using the conversion factor. So there is, in one megagram, there are a million grams. So I set up the conversion factor. Grams goes on the bottom so it cancels out. And then the units left at the end are megagrams, which I'm using to describe this answer. Whenever you're dividing by a factor of 10, it basically becomes a negative exponent. So 4.5. This would be 10 to the 12th in the denominator. So when we move it up to the numerator, it becomes 10 to the negative 12th. So this is how we convert within the metric system. Use it.